So welcome to my channel, Tiffany here of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay, bringing you all the latest cosplay tutorials to help you make your own. And I would love to have you as part of our cosplay building community, so like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you here with us. And your long wait is finally over. I finally finished this Keyblade, the way to the dawn Keyblade. And I made this quite a bit of time ago and it sat in a corner for many months because of moving and just other projects but it is finally done so yay and I can finally share with you how I painted it and if you missed how I made it out of EVA foam I'll do a link in the description to that tutorial as well but let's get started. And here is a list of all of the tools that I used to paint this keyblade. And note that if you don't have an airbrush gun and compressor, you can always follow these same steps through this tutorial, just hand painting everything. And I'll have links to everything in the description. To first start off, before we start painting, you're going to want to prime all your exposed EVA foam. And for this, I use Plasti Dip. Applying three heavy coats onto all sides of the keyblade. You will need to wait one hour between each coat as as well as after your final coat is done, wait 24 hours for it to fully dry before you start to airbrush paint. And for airbrush painting, I'm gonna be using my Iwata Eclipse airbrush gun, as well as using Kratex Colors airbrush paint throughout this process. Starting off with a base coat of Wicked White onto all of the places that we're gonna be painting red. This is gonna make it so all of those red colors are gonna pop so much more afterwards. Then once the white is dry, you will we'll be using Wicked Crimson onto all of those areas. And now for some shading. And for this, you want your red paint to be dry and you'll grab your Wicked Jet Black paint. And for the textured like areas on the wing sections, I just did a very light mist of the black paint here. Then back with our Wicked Crimson to do some fine dusting on the top, specifically on the handle section. And then we're gonna get the Pyro Orange and spray this on the bottom section of the handle, slowly moving upward and moving the airbrush gun farther away as we move upward so that way it gives a natural light gradient effect. Then once your paint is dry it's time to mask off all of the sections and for this I'm going to be using masking tape and don't use the painter tape it, it doesn't work. Use the scotch brand masking tape and you'll get your masking tape and then get it and put it onto your leg or your pants and remove it before placing it onto your painted areas. This will make it so the tape will not adhere to your painted areas too much, so that way when you remove it later, it won't remove any of your paint or Plasti Dip, and it's your surefire way for you to have your best results. Now we're gonna be doing all of the blue sections, and before we start even using that color, we're gonna do a base coat of Wicked White. Then we're gonna be using Daylight Blue once the white is dry, then I'm gonna start doing some more gradients. And for this, I'm gonna be using a mixture of daylight blue and wicked blue going around the edge of the eyeball as well as through the mid half to the top half of the handle wings. And continuing with our gradient on the handle wing part, I'm gonna be using next pathlo blue, using it more towards the top one third section of the bat wing. And then just straight jet black for the the very, very top sections. And this will give you a really nice natural gradient. Then once again, mask off these sections with masking tape. And a little helpful tip for you, you can use some needle tweezers and these will help you put the tape into smaller crevices that you can't reach with your fingers. Now for the other side of the handle wing, the more angel-like section, I'm gonna start off with a base coat of Wicked White. And once that was dry, I then switch to a mix of cream and brown Brown, applying this onto all of the white section. Then once that coat was dry, it's time for some shading. And for this, I'm gonna be doing where we're gonna use a paper towel to wipe parts away. And I'm gonna be doing a mixture of cream, brown, and jet black for this, applying it just around all of the edges of the feather blades and then wiping it away. And then one more time with Wicked Cream onto just the top sections to give them a little bit more highlights. And once again, mask that section off with mask. Tape. Now for the top section of the blade, 
the other angel wing section. We're gonna start off with a base coat of Wicked White. Then once that coat was dry, it was time for some shading. And for this, I used Wicked Gray, applying it around all of the edges of each of the individual feathers and wiping it away while it's still wet with a paper towel. Then one more time with Wicked White to enhance some of the edges of the feathers and clean up any extra mist of the gray we have. And then the very last coat for this is gonna be a mixture of Wicked White and Wicked Gray. This is where we're going to apply it for making those shadow bands that are across the mid sections of the feathers. Now for the keychain. And for this, I'm gonna be doing a base coat of Jet Black, applying this onto the chain section and finishing off the middle section of the heart. And once that was dry, I covered up the heart section so it wouldn't get any more paint and then used metallic charcoal for the chain. And we're getting so close to being done with painting this keyblade that we just need to wrap off this chain section and we can paint our last few colors. And this is gonna be the main spine section and the rest of the exposed pieces of this keyblade. And for this, I'm gonna be doing patho blue, applying it onto everything. And then I did a mixture of the patho blue and daylight blue, applying it just on the top surface and making sure that the paint did not go towards the sides. So I still had the shading of the first coat. And the keyblade does have a little bit of gradients for these sections. So I ended up using the same mix and adding a little bit of wicked white to it. So I could apply this towards the base of the handle wing section and kind of go a little bit upward. I also use this at the tips of all of the pointed sections, adding a little bit more white to the mix every now and then so that way I could really get some sections to pop a lot more. And that's it for using our airbrush gun. Now to bring it back to your main room and remove all of your masking tape and paper to reveal your keyblade and then to do some detail painting. And for this, I'm still gonna be using the same airbrush colors, but I'm gonna be painting by hand this time with a paintbrush. And the first colors that I'm gonna start with are some of the Pathlo Blue onto the hand sections because I just didn't want to mask off these areas so it was a lot easier to paint by hand as well as do some detail painting with jet black or the eyeball and just to go around all of the edges so they just looked a lot more vivid and bright and the final step to complete this keyblade is to seal all of your paint and for this I use Kratex Colors UVLS Satin Clear and you can apply this with a airbrush gun but I like to do this by hand with a paintbrush and you just do an even coat onto all surface areas, making sure it's not too thick and white so it'll dry clear. And this will protect your paint from any of the sunlight and just make it all an even consistent shine look to the piece and it looks a lot more finished in my opinion. And that's how I finished it. And that guys is how I painted the way to the Dawn Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. I hope you found this video helpful for painting your very own Keyblade or just painting in general. And if so, let me know in the comments as well as don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date to all of my cosplay tutorials. And let me know which Keyblade I should make next. Hmm. And a big thank you to all of my company sponsors here on YouTube as well as all of my members specifically those legendary members who financially help to support me so I can continue doing this as my full-time job and my main source of income. So, would love to have you and consider becoming a member. And I will see you for our next cosplay tutorial. Much love, guys.